Well, guys, I had a YouTube video that I posted this morning, and unfortunately, my expectations were not actually what happened this year. So, we are back with another video. To all of you guys that watched my video this morning, I'm sorry for getting your hopes up. I forgot to tell you guys and uh, give you the heads up that at any point, EA are basically uh, really mean. I mean, they're just really mean. Like, And the reason we're going to kind of get into today, I've already sent them a tweet. I personally believe that EA have completely messed up the weekly rewards all summer, or at least until the end of Team of the Season. Now, guys, Team of the Season is a six-week event. Every single week, there's a Major League Team of the Season. This week, we will start with Community uh, tomorrow. Then it will be the Premier League. Then, usually, uh, Bundesliga, Serie A, La Liga, and League One. And then, Ultimate Team of the Season. So, you've got a Community, five Team of the Season majors, which is six weeks, and then an Ultimate. That's seven weeks of Team of the Seasons. So usually what happens is with the Foot Champs rewards, EA will release the initial uh, way that it's going to be done. And then after about seven or eight weeks, they'll change it again and make it even better towards the end of the summer. I made a video this morning showing you guys what weekly rewards uh, are probably going to be this year. With they had changed the, the weekly from 30 to 20 games. And I had done a video earlier this week reacting to my older team of the season rewards. And this year, guys, it just looks horrible. It looks so bad. I, I really, I honestly can't even believe it. I've already tweeted them today saying it's unacceptable. I don't think my influence is large enough to change anything. And I don't think EA care about me or know, like, probably who I even, even am. Um, so basically... The rewards are just so poor, and I'll explain why. And something I like to do is just call EA out when I feel like the product or whatever they release is just not acceptable. This is completely not acceptable. To anybody that was looking forward to grinding during Team of the Season, it's not only horrendous for the players that maybe aren't as uh, good with weekly league finishes, where maybe you're rank 1 to rank 4, it's just terrible for even the good players. If you're a rank one, rank two, rank three player, it's horrible for you. If you're a rank seven player, it's terrible for you. It's just overall terrible, this update with the rewards. So I kind of want to go through it and talk my shit because I feel like for me, I have a large problem with it. So it, not too many rant videos on this channel these days. Um, you know, for me, so first of all, just for playing no weekend league, you do get a max 90. So that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm cool with that. It used to be 88. Now it's a max 90. Um... So this, obviously, these are the lower tier rewards. Now, let's say you're a 24 win player. That means you're going, what, five, uh, f four wins, maybe three wins. This is like three wins and two wins, maybe. This is even two wins. This might even be one win. Uh, one win is four points, 19. No, so this is, I think this is like two or three wins. I don't even know what this is, but it's very low. This right here, right? So you get the goal too, but you get a max of a 90 rated. So f this is just very bad when you think about it, guys, compared to what it used to be. Because you never would see a max rating on a lot of these players. So my larger issue with this, right, is that you actually get, for rank f uh, rank 6, you actually get one less red than you get in, 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 in the rank before. Which I personally, I, I think is a bit ridiculous. Um, now, the, the thing that I will say is that the positive that you can look at within, you know, this team of the season is if there is a positive out of this rewards change... Theoretically, you're probably going to see more uh, community, more more community team of the season players. Obviously, so I'll explain that in a second. But in the past, FIFA's right. You usually get no matter what when you get over a certain rank, you're usually getting two or three reds, and you're getting way less reds. And my issue there is that your actual fodder that you're receiving from week and league is a lot less than normal or a lot less in the past. Now, a positive of this change potentially is that maybe there are going to be better pulls all around because in the past, usually you were getting one guaranteed community team of the season and then, you know, you could get four or five slots and a bunch would be the off leagues. My issue is that you can't even get crazy players. So, for example, right now there's a red Gravenberg, there's a Gravenberg team of the season that's leaked that looks insane. He's like 94 rated. So even for the lower tier ranks, you can't get him in red which I think is ridiculous. I feel like every player should be available to get out of reds. I think EA need to go back and rework this. I think that this, here's, I'm always a person where if there's a problem, I like to present a solution. So what I think this pick should be instead is one of five with maybe potentially three community or three major league team of the season guarantees. In that case, you can still get two players from the off league or maybe not, maybe five communities all around. And I just, I think that's probably the better solution here. Now, when we take a look at, you know, what this is for a reward, uh, I believe that this is nine wins, right? 
nine wins. Uh, this actually is eight wins, right? Eight times four is 32. Uh, 14, uh, no, this is, no, sorry. This is nine wins. So you have to get nine wins to get this rank. And my issue with that is that's not, that, that's nine wins, obviously 11 losses. In, in, if you think about in the past couple of years, this would probably be the equivalent to gold three. So my issue here is that you actually, yes, you do get a better chance at a higher tier team of the season, but you only get one red player pick and it just, you know, it's all in on that pick, which, you know, for me is not super ideal. Now let's take a look at 51 points, which do the math here. Uh, I believe this is uh, 10 wins. This would be... No, so you have to get 11 wins for this one. So 11 wins, it does give you an extra red like it does in the normal part of the year. So you are going to get to see six team of the seasons from community only. Again, the issue is if there's any cracked players from the other uh, smaller league, you can't get any of them. And you only get three options. You don't get five anymore. And there's no... They, they removed the team of the week packs from here. So there's no more... You can't even get a tradable pack uh, from this rank. Now, if you go to rank four, this is 60 points. This is where it starts to get a bit harder. This is 14 wins now. Um... Uh, this is 14 wins. And for me, this is kind of where it gets a little bit confusing. So it's still only two, two picks. It should be three. I know that EA is adding in a community team of the season player where it's like all of them are guaranteed from that community, but it's still, it still should be three picks. The fact that people don't understand how sweaty weekend league is about to get, like it's going to be a bloodbath. People are going to be sweating like crazy. There should be an extra red available in here. In my opinion, um, I do, again, I think a positive of this whole change is that maybe you could sit there and say, well, you know what? I'm getting more guarantees uh, than I was in the previous years. I know I'm going to see eight to meet team of the season communities in my in my player picks rather than, you know, maybe if you got 14 and six, I like to think of as like 23 and seven, maybe elite, um, elite three. And in those cases, you know, you got three player picks. As I showed in my other video, you would get five options in those picks only one guaranteed from the major league, but usually you would see two to three regardless in there anyways. So that's where I have a problem because I, although there are more guarantees of communities, I still feel like you were getting a lot before. I never really thought that one guarantee was holding you from getting only one. I always thought there was at least two or three in there. Here's where my major issue comes into play, guys. They've removed the premium team of league packs completely and not replaced them with even, let's say, what could have they done as a solution? Again, trying to give solutions. 9 and 11 wins. Maybe you just get an Airdvz team of the season pack. You know, okay, at first people might be upset, but if you think about it, at minimum, you'll probably make 60k from that. And for somebody getting 9, and ele uh, nine wins, 11 losses, and 11, uh, 11 wins and 9 losses, that's still enough. And when you have a player like, let's say, Gravenberch who was leaked, who's going to be like in a million, million coins worth that's that's valuable you got a chance at that player so here's where the issue is for me in the past <clears throat> you got guaranteed packs from the major league team of the season and my issue with this is that it's not so bad with community and area division but as we move forward when we think about it like premier league when we think about it like bundesliga and we have these very small off leagues with not a lot of players that are expensive in them it's going to be really annoying when you open one of these and you're not getting like any major league players you're going to get like one so it's one community and area division team of season three player pack and that's for 14 wins when you go up even more to 16 wins you're still only getting two player picks people gotta understand 16 and four during team of the season is ultra sweat it's very hard to accomplish uh a 16 and four is like an 18 and two in a normal week it's very sweaty and the fact that even for this rank, 16 and 4, I look at it as like pretty, pretty much like, you know, that's hard to do this year, I feel like. So the fact that you now get a community three player pack for 16, only one is a little bit low, but the fact that you still only get two red player picks kind of drives me crazy. For 18 wins, you get one of five. So I guess you get to see 10 total team of the season players for community, but you still only get two and you still only get one tradable pack. I find that ridiculous. Right? Like, if you're that good at FIFA this year, at playing the meta and playing the game, and you get 18 wins and two losses during Team of the Season Weekend Leagues, you only get one tradable three-player pack. What happened to the days when you get an 11 Team of the Season pack? Or an Elite 1? This is basically Elite 1. So, two, two tradable Team of the Season packs. I find it a bit ridiculous. I really do. I think it's unacceptable from EA. I understand what they're doing here with the player picks, guys. And I'm trying to see the side of where EA is coming from. And they're saying, okay... We're giving you guys way more guaranteed team of the seasons with one less pick. Why are you complaining? My issue is that I still feel like the pack weight is going to be so high on the lower tier options. So, so high. And I feel like one less player pick is one less opportunity. You know, it's one less red. It really is, man. It's only two. And then the fact that you have to play for 19 and one to even get a third red is crazy. 19 and one is going to be so rare 
during team of the season, especially with every pro professional player playing. It's going to be, so, this is going to be such a hard thing to do. Only one game for error, and I get it, right? I get it, but here's the biggest issue of this whole video. If you get a 19-1 or a 20-0, you only get one tradable team of the season pack from community or whatever the league is. Think about it. If you get a 19-1, you only get three, three blues from the major league. Think about a person that's going 20-0 and when they used to go 30-0, 10 more games they won, uh, <clears throat> or even 29-1, and they would get an 11 team of the season pack. Just think about where we have gone with rewards, and I just don't understand EA's perspective of why are we going to make these worse? I don't get it. I really don't. So if you guys are going to take one thing from the video today in terms of a solution, I think EA have to do better with these tradable team of the season packs. That's my main point here. These are This is the main thing I find unacceptable. The fact that for these top tier rank one, rank two, rank three players, they're only going to get one major league team of the season pack is crazy. There needs to be an option for at least two. I think for me, rank one should be three three-player packs, 100%. Rank two should be two. Rank three should be two. Two tradable team of season packs for rank two and rank three. 16 to 18 wins should be two of these. And there should be at least in rank two and rank three, uh, even if they want to keep it one of four, there should be a third player pick. Uh, you know, potentially at rank rank four and rank five, it's a bit of a different story. But again, let's make this one of five, right? For team of the week, it was one of five. So let's make this one of five. And let's give these, let's give these middle tier ranks, rank six, rank five, rank four, let's give them just an area divisi or an area divisi in a community. It's crazy. You know, for me, I look at it in the perspective of anybody who's an average player in this game, which I would consider on the, under this reward circumstances, maybe less than like 14 wins, is going gonna, is gonna to really not like this change. If you don't get 14 wins, let's put it this way. 14 wins is the minimum, guys, to see a 1 of 4 in Community Team of the Season and to at least get tradable blues. 14 and 6, which is not easy. It's not easy. It's not even going to be easy for me playing this to get 14 wins. So... I find that part ridiculous, and I think it's really not rewarding. I think the whole entire community is just not going to be super happy with this change. Now, I have seen people that have been a little bit happy. The takeaway that I can tell you that people that are happy about this, what they do like is that they feel like that you're getting more guaranteed major team of the seasons out of the reds. Again, my flaw and, and, and problem with it is that you're still getting one less red, which is one less chance at that big boy team of the season. Even if there's a, less of a guarantee of one per red, uh, per red, you still get another chance. You still get another 90 rated at, at least for SBCs. That's a very big deal, especially when, you, again, we talked about this morning, you had the likes of Vieira, you have all these top tier players out. It's a bit annoying. So for me, I think these rewards are a travesty. I always like to speak about stuff when I feel like it's a joke. I can't believe, and I feel bad that I led you guys on this morning, telling you guys it was going to continue to be the same in the past. EA just continue to make stuff worse, man. I, I don't understand it, but I don't think they're going to revert this change. I think we're stuck with this for a couple of weeks. Uh, the one thing I'll tell you, last thing, just to confirm with you guys, uh, two more things. The the weekend league schedule is going to change. This is a positive in a little bit for some of us. Like for me in America, it's a little bit better. It starts tomorrow afternoon, so it'll start after the content, and then it'll go until Monday night. So you have till Tuesday morning to play weekend league uh, if you are in uh, EU. And also, guys, more bad news, unfortunately. If you guys do get the Elite Division, my prediction today was that they're going to change the Elite Red. And unfortunately, it is still uh, Team of the Week. It's still Team of the Week, guys. So I think it's probably going to remain Team of the Week. I'm hoping that they do add in current would be like Team of the Season, but they're going to continue Team of the Week. So it's only going to be Team of the Week, in my opinion, from uh, Elite, which sucks. So any of you guys that are kind of working up towards Elite, it doesn't look like it's going to be totally worth it. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Love you guys, man. See you guys later. Peace.